Welcome Bishop Yellow Belly. Can I interest you in a cup of tea? Or perhaps wassail? Tea would be splendid Mr. Old Gent. I mustn't get too plastered before preaching my Christmas Eve sermon. Quite right. I must say I'm always amazed at how you can take the same story of our Lord's birth and make it genuinely interesting and new. What's your approach this year? I'm so glad you asked Mr. Old Gent. I've tried to make the story relevant for our current times. I first set the scene of what the times were like when Jesus was born. Israel is waiting for a Messiah and for Emmanuel to come and deliver them from the Romans. And then our Savior is born to a virgin in a stable. Someone so tiny as a baby will rescue us from certain sin and death. And this is where I draw the parallel to our times. I will show how the Anglican Covenant was crafted and conceived of as a means to deliver our Anglican Communion from sin and death as well. Such a small document will have such a large impact. I mean to show that just as the Israelites needed a Messiah, we need a covenant to unite us as one very centralized communion. So, what do you think Mr. Old Gent? You can't say you've heard a sermon like that before, can you? Bishop Yellowbelly, might I suggest you reconsider? You mean to question my assertion that the Anglican Covenant is anything less important than the Incarnation? Actually I'm suggesting you avail yourself of the wassail instead of tea. I believe the congregation will be more forgiving of you if they assume you were drunk.